the Benkum Hini of the Enyan Dentura Achimpim Division of the Central Region, Nana Kum Kampa I, has called on young ladies to check the phenomenon of provocative dressing styles among their peers. According to her, such dressing styles are not a guarantee for being good wives or a yardstick for men to fall in love with women. Nana Kum Krampa was speaking in an interview with our news team on the sidelines of the 82nd speech and prize giving day of the Zion College at Amwoga in the Volta region. In recent times, the issue of provocative dressing styles among some young ladies has become an issue of great concern to parents, teachers, religious leaders, as well as well meaning individuals and the society at large. Benkum Hini of Enyan Dentra, a champion division in the central region, says the issue of indecent dressing styles is a major concern for her as well. Nana Kum Krampa I, who is one of the few women chiefs in the central region, stressed the need for ladies to be decent in dressing and focused in their deeds and vision in order to realize their dreams. As a chief and queen of the Anyan Traditional Council, Anakum Krampa I dresses as such during occasions in order to effectively and efficiently play her cultural roles in her community in particular and the traditional area as a whole. She was one of the special guests at the 82nd speech and prize giving day of the Zion College at Angoga over the weekend. Speaking in an interview with our news team after the ceremony, Nanakum Krampa first touched on her role as a chief and how she tactically collaborates with her male counterparts to achieve a lot of development for her people. Nana, this is maybe the first time I'm hearing a woman becoming a chief. Uh, tell us about yourself briefly. I'm Nanakum Krampa the first. The Benkumhini of Enya Dentra a champion division. We realize the potentials in women and realize that they can do better even than the men. So they decide to instill me, not because I'm the best, but because they saw potential in me. And they realize through that I'll be a role model for the generation yet I'm born and make an impact into our present generation. That's why I was instilled as a chief. And it happens in most of our categories because there are other women who are chiefs and I am the Benkumhini of a state chief. Yes. Uh, we are told um, you are two women, the only two women, or there are only two women who are chiefs in the whole of the central region. Uh, is that correct? It may be no, it may be yes. But what I know is we are many, and the one that I know, the one that I know, it's only one, but I know there are a lot of people who are chiefs. Now, how are you able to uh, carry out yourself in terms of fighting for development for your traditional areas? You know, are you able to equal your strength with the male chiefs? It is not easy. The intimidation, the victimization are there, but if you respect the men, they will help you. Because what I would like to tell other women in other key positions that should be held by men is that if you're a woman and you seek advice from the men, even if you are the head, you make sure they, they, they will make sure you are comfortable and they'll make sure they teach you. That is what I did because uh, because I am a chief, I wouldn't wrap shoulders with a man. Men can do, but we can do better. But what I do, and that is benefiting me, is to listen to our men, discuss with them, advise them what to do for us, and we don't lot of that. And I realize I realize I'm doing this. A lot of our uh, ladies dress so badly, provocative as people would describe it. You are a role model, well dressed, very educated, you are even a graduate. What advice do you have for such ladies? What I'll tell such ladies is that it's not because you expose yourself, that's it, that will make you a good wife. 
they don't make a mark upon the world. They should cover themselves. They should make sure there are better men ahead. We are looking for people who cover themselves and I know they will also get somebody who emulates their sister. But I pray that those mothers who allow those kids to wear those things should be advised. If our women, our mothers advise our kids, yes, our kids, I know they will take it because every child who dresses like that has a mother at home. Why would them dress like me? But try to expose themselves. I don't know from home, I don't know born by women, so it's left with the mother to talk to her kids, and I know with that they will be able to make it. Happen. What I'll tell my women out there is that it is not because you are a woman, so you should sit in the house, you should be at the kitchen. One of those days that women were not educated, but this time we have powerful women, one of us like me, that have potentials that can be exploited to the to the whole world. So what I'll tell the women is that they should be careful, they should respect, they should take care of their, themselves, they should make sure when they go higher they'll get a better man to marry. And if those are the school, they should make sure they learn very hard and become what they want to be. And then things, uh, stresses may arise, but they should realize that there are a lot of women who made it, why wouldn't they do it? And I pray that those coming should learn from us. And I know with God on our side, they will make it like that. She used the occasion to wish all women a happy Mother's Day, hoping that they would remain committed to helping their husbands and children to achieve greater heights in life. The Zion College, which was established in 1937 by Reverend Dr. Ferdinand Fiau, is the oldest second cycle institution in the Volta region. It has a current population of 1,702 made up of 790 boys and 913 girls with a staff population of 160 comprising 108 teaching and 52 not. From Angloga in the Volta region, this has been Benjamin Makafia Tipo reporting for TV Africa News.